Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with my in-depth ranking of the Scream franchise. I've been wanting to do this ranking for a while, but you know how I am about physical media. I was waiting for Scream 2022 to officially be released. Well, that day was today. I went out this morning and grabbed the standard Blu-ray release and the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. I'll be showing that Steelbook in another video, though. In this in-depth Scream franchise ranking, I will not only be ranking the movies in the franchise, but the TV seasons as well. You might remember Scream, the TV series, ran for three seasons. The first two seasons, plus a feature-length finale, aired on MTV, and Season 3, also known as Scream Resurrection, aired on VH1. I recently rewatched all of the seasons, along with all of the Scream movies, to have an up-to-date ranking ready. And in this video, that's what I'll be doing. Ranking the Scream franchise from my least favorite entry to my favorite. I should also mention there will be no major spoilers in this video. In fact, in an effort to avoid any spoilers whatsoever, I will simply refer to the killer in each film or TV season as Ghostface. It doesn't matter if there is one killer or multiple killers. I will just use the term Ghostface. That includes the MTV TV series, which didn't even feature a ghost face mask. Regardless, I'm going to use that term to keep it simple. I will also be ranking the MTV feature-length finale separately. If you have seen it, I'm sure you'll understand why. It deserves to stand on its own. And for those of you wondering why I'm not just ranking the films... I love the TV series, and the way the seasons play out are like individual movies. Just really long Scream movies over the course of a season. Seriously though, the Scream TV series was done right, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. But more on that when I get to each season on this ranking. And if you're someone who doesn't care that I'm ranking the seasons, well, just ignore them when I get to them. I'm still ranking the movies, too. Let's see, what else, what else? Uh, when I get to the TV seasons, only the first season has officially been released on DVD. So when you see Season 2 and Season 3, those are homemade copies I made for my own personal collection. There doesn't seem to be any plan to release them at any point. The first season DVD set you'll see, though, is official, and it was released by Anchor Bay. All of the movies, of course, are official releases as well. Okay, now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, please keep in mind, like with all of my other rankings, and videos for that matter, this is just my personal opinion. So, here we go. My ranking of the Scream franchise. Coming in dead last is Scream Resurrection, also known as Scream the TV series Season 3 which aired on VH1. This is the only entry on this ranking I could honestly say I'd be fine never watching again. I don't hate it, and I guess I wouldn't even say I dislike it. After all, it's still Scream. It felt, to me anyway, that this season focused more on a political agenda than being part of the Scream franchise. It was way, way too one-sided. I would have even forgiven that if the season was better than it is. It's not. I do like that they used the ghost face mask in this season, and I love that Roger L. Jackson returned to voice Ghostface. It's cool seeing Tony Todd in this season, and there are some nice visuals. The ghost face reveal is decent enough. But even as the shortest season of Scream, the TV series, with only six episodes, this one drags along. By the end, I was sort of forcing myself to finish just to see the reveal. 
It's also worth mentioning that Scream Resurrection, or Scream the TV series Season 3, is a standalone. You don't need to see any of the previous Scream films or TV seasons to watch this. And you really don't have to watch this at all. Next up is the lowest ranked Scream movie on this list. Scream 4. This, at one time, was my second favorite Scream film. And now it's my least favorite Scream film. How is that possible, you might be wondering? Well, you'll have to wait a few more minutes to find out. Trust me, I'll explain in just a bit. There is a lot I really like about Scream 4, though. Mainly Kirby's character. I know I'm in the majority with that one. Everyone seems to love Kirby. There are some brutal kills in Scream 4, but there's an over-the-top silliness that wasn't really present in the other Scream movies. Don't get me wrong, they all have humor, but the humor in Scream 4 was just different. For example, when the two cops are killed. It's just silly. With that being said, I still love Scream 4 because I love this franchise, even if it's my least favorite movie in the franchise. Next up, and this might be surprising to some of you, is Scream 2. Scream 2, for many, is the best sequel, and it's actually considered to be one of the best slasher sequels by a lot of people. The problem with this one for me is the rewrites. As you might know, the original script was leaked at the time, so some last-minute rewrites took place. Ghostface was changed, so certain conveniences had to be added into the script. I will say, though, Scream 2 probably features the best chase scene in the entire franchise. It also includes one of the most shocking Ghostface reveals, in my opinion. I also love the soundtrack of Scream 2. Next on my ranking is Scream, the TV series, Season 1. Admittedly, I did not watch this show when it first aired. I just was not looking forward to it because of the changes I knew that were made. For example, they didn't use the ghost face mask. That was a deal breaker for me, and I know it was a deal breaker for a lot of people. But then I read the mask used in the TV series was initially going to be the mask used in the movies. They literally took the original mask for the TV series. I actually appreciate that about the show. And you can tell the showrunners are passionate about the franchise. I was also a bit wary since it aired on MTV. I had no idea that Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson were both involved. In fact, Kevin Williamson wrote the pilot, and you can tell when you're watching it. It screams Kevin Williamson's work. Within the first two minutes of watching the pilot, the first two minutes, I was hooked. I felt like I was watching a Scream movie. It opens with a very gory kill, just as any Scream film would. The mask used in Scream the TV series, seasons 1 and 2, is actually pretty damn awesome. And then there's the cast. I absolutely love these characters. That makes it all the more painful when they are killed off one by one. The town in which the TV series is set is awesome as well. And finally, I love the backstory. Scream, the TV series, season one, was ten episodes, and unfortunately, it's the only season officially released on DVD. This slipcover is really cool, though. It's embossed. I really could have ranked this so much higher, but hey, this is only season one. Next up is Scream, the TV series, feature-length finale. This movie also known as Halloween and Halloween 2, aired in between the end of Scream, the TV series, Season 2, and VH1's Scream Resurrection. This feature-length Halloween special aired months after the Season 2 finale. It's still technically considered part of Season 2, but as I mentioned earlier in this video, if you've seen it, you understand why it stands on its own. It literally feels like you're watching a Scream sequel, and it's set on Halloween. 
I also felt I needed to include it separately on this ranking because it's significant. It features, in my opinion, the greatest of all the ghost face reveals. It's probably my favorite ghost face in the entire franchise. That's why I have Scream, the TV series, Halloween special, ranked here. Followed by Scream 3, which prior to seeing that Halloween special, featured my favorite ghost face in the franchise. Scream 3 is probably the most underappreciated and most misunderstood in the franchise. There is a huge element to this one that a lot of people seem to be missing. It's all there, right in front of our faces, but many of us just refuse to see it. It's a popular theory you can find on the internet, but I won't spoil it here in this video. It's also a theory that has been confirmed by one of the filmmakers. I'll just leave it at that. Scream 3 deserves so much more credit, and that's why I have it ranked here, so high. I know many others would probably have this one dead last, but not me. I love it. I also love Scream 2022, which is technically Scream 5, and technically in third place. Like I said, this was just released today on 4K, Blu-ray, and DVD, officially. I've already watched this one maybe four or five times. Not this Blu-ray specifically, I just got it today. I mean, since the movie's been released in theaters. I'm happy to say this one does seem to get a lot of love, and it certainly deserves it. Those that criticize it seem to be missing the point, and a lot of other details. It sounds silly because it's a slasher film, but in many ways, the Scream franchise is a thinking man's franchise. There are a lot of specific details added into the movies, and even the TV series. They are there for the true Scream fanatics to spot and appreciate. Well, I'm one of them, and Scream 2022 is chock full of those little details. They say the original Scream was a slasher movie for slasher fans. Well, I say this Scream movie is a Scream movie for Scream fans. It should all make sense when you see it. Going back to what I said earlier about Scream 4 once being my second favorite Scream movie, it was seeing this movie that changed my mind about that. Scream 2022 does something that Scream 4 does, but this one does it better. That's why it's ranked here, while Scream 4 is ranked down there. I also want to mention there's a certain aspect in this one that a lot of people think is a blooper but it's not. Like I said, this is a Scream movie for Scream fans, so if you want to understand every piece of it, you have to truly understand the franchise. That means paying attention to the movies that came before it and remembering little details. That's all I'll say. Scream 2022 is probably my favorite of all these requel horror films we've gotten in recent times. And ultimately, it's Currently, my third favorite entry in the Scream franchise. That actually makes it my second favorite movie in the Scream franchise, because my second favorite entry is Scream the TV series, season 2. Yup, I'm ranking this very high, because Scream the TV series, season 2, is amazing. It's basically a longer version of season 1. Season 2 has 12 episodes or 14 episodes, depending on how you look at it. If you include the Halloween special as two separate episodes aired together, then it's 14 episodes total. If you don't include the Halloween finale, then it's 12 episodes. I wish it were 100 episodes, because this season is amazing. Another thing I love about this season is every episode is titled after a horror movie. And the movie each episode is named after is fitting in some way to the storyline of that particular episode. It's like an extra layer that's fun to analyze. People who missed out on the show, like myself when it aired, are missing out on something special. What makes season two even better than season one for me is the fact that we still have 
established characters from season one who lived. Because they are already established, we can take the time to get to know the new characters introduced. The same could be said about any movie sequel, and that's what makes Scream the TV series season two so good. It truly feels like a sequel. There are so many clues and so many red herrings. It all leads up to a ghost face reveal that is pretty spectacular. Again, this season doesn't use the ghost face mask, but you know what I mean. Season 2 also includes one of the best episodes in the entire show, featuring, in my opinion, the most disturbing kill in the entire franchise. Another thing I love about this season is every episode is titled after a horror movie, and the movie each episode is named after is fitting in some way to the storyline of that particular episode. It's like an extra layer that's fun to analyze. And like Scream Season 1, Season 2 has a great soundtrack. My wife loves it. After I watched the full Scream, the TV series, I watched it again with my wife, who was hooked. Then we watched it again with my son, who loved it. And then he went and watched it with my mother, who also loved it. I truly feel it's not a matter of people not liking Scream, the TV series. I just think not enough people actually watched it. It's a shame, too, because, like I said, Scream, the TV series, especially the first two seasons and the feature-length movie, are something special. With all of the extra runtime the Scream TV series seasons had, they were able to develop certain storylines they wouldn't be able to accomplish in a movie. It also allows time for the characters to grieve after a death. As viewers, we get so attached to the characters too that we find ourselves grieving as well. I'll say it one more time. Scream, the TV series, season two, is amazing. Which brings us to my favorite entry in the Scream franchise, the original, Scream. This here is the R-rated cut on DVD. But officially my favorite is the director's cut here on VHS. The version contained on this tape features extra gore in multiple kills and stabbings in the film. It also removes one line which was the preference of Wes Craven. Scream, the director's cut, is unfortunately not available on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. It's also only available on certain early VHS releases of the film. This Casey Becker cover is one of them. This was the one that started it all. I remember seeing this in theaters opening night. The opening scene has stuck with me forever and, in my opinion, might just be the all-time greatest opening scene in horror movie history. Remember, still just my opinion. I've said it before, I think the Scream franchise is so important to me because it's the first true horror franchise I was able to remember watching from the very beginning. Obviously, I grew up watching the classic horror franchises like Halloween and Friday the 13th, and A Nightmare on Elm Street. But some of those franchises started before I was even born. Sure, I was able to see a lot of the sequels when they were released, but Scream was the first franchise where I can actually remember watching the very first film in the theater. I had the honor of being able to watch it begin and become a franchise. The other horror franchises were already established. Scream also had the achievement of resurrecting the slasher genre. It was a horror revival and should now be considered one of the greatest horror films ever made. It's been long enough. It's worthy of that distinction. It should have come as no surprise. The original Scream is my favorite entry in the Scream franchise. Also, it wouldn't feel right if I didn't say, rest in peace, Wes Craven. Well guys, that's it. I know this was a much longer video than usual from me, but I hope you enjoyed my in-depth ranking of the Scream franchise. How would you rank the franchise, and what do you think of my ranking? 
comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.